right, here we go, guys. With the pros today, Todd Mann on his boat. What's up, Todd? James Milano. Mike Sadowski. I'm the rookie on this trip. Mike, sit up there with him. I'll sit back here with James. See how we do today. Cold day, 35 degrees when we left. All right, here we go, guys. And as you heard in that cold intro, and cold meaning the start and also literally the weather, 35 degrees when we left with a heavy northwest wind that made it feel even worse. Um, it felt like it was in the 20s. We're on Todd's boat, Todd Mann, Long Island Lethals. I'll have a link to his channel in the description. Uh, and we're fishing with James Milano and Mike Sadowski, two of the absolute best deep water Todd fishermen you will ever meet. And I got lessons today. Uh, and we'll actually start the video with a lesson on preparation and the rig to use from Mike Sadowski himself, Mike has multiple double-digit uh, tog. He had, I think, the two or three biggest fish in uh, the Billies by the Bay tournament that Todd, James, and Mike actually wound up winning. And yeah, for me, it was a, a big learning lesson. Those of you that follow the channel know I am most comfortable jig fishing, light tackle jig fishing. This is completely foreign to me. Whenever I do trips like this, I always suck. Today was no different, but I am taking away that I learned a lot today. I'm, I'm using that uh, to motivate me for future trips coming up, including this video was edited before my trip to Rhode Island. I have a couple fishing dates up there, and I'm really hoping that the lessons I learned on this day will carry over to those trips. And like I said, this is a bit long, uh, so apologies, you can skip through it if you're not interested, but Mike gives a very detailed description on the slider rig he uses. I like mono usually, but we'll use floro because I just have it on hand. I've spoken to many people, optimal length of top shot. I've had so many captains up down the East Coast. Kane Bounds tell you, he's got the world record. I listen to him best. He likes 8 to 10 feet. Wow. I like to double my 2 feet on the bottom. So I would go like 12 or 13 feet to start. 6. A lot of freaking line, man. Well, what are you going on a wreck? He's talking about dropping in holes. It's yeah. a 10-foot hole. Yeah. You want braid rubbing on the edge no, of it? No. It's going to break no matter what, in my opinion. But I, you're going to have your best shot with some mono. So listen, if I was home, I'd do an FG. When no. I'm at home, we're going to do an Alberto real quick. Fucking bing. But I like to double the braid on the Alberto. Bing, bing. You understand? Yeah. Through. Bing, bing. We we do, we're getting it. We do our turn wraps. Come on. My shit. 18 inch long length of 60, pre-measured, snelled up the hook with the other hook with a with a triple overhand knot. Should end up with you about a foot long leader. I like fo I, a foot is the magic number for me on a slider. They'll tell you in the current that longer will get up off the bottom. But 
I stick to this. Okay. Uh, you know, I, you could vary. You want to go down a little bit. You want to go a little longer. I caught many fish on a 15 inch long. V rig. James Milano fish is the doubled up V rig. It's actually my rig really to start. I caught them very long, 15 inches long. You can catch them on that. It doesn't have to be. I prefer longer than shorter. You get close to the sinker, he starts feeling the sinker. He's not going to eat the crab properly. Right. The key is that he doesn't. You don't want him to feel the sinker. No? Now we talk connections. Yeah. This is pretty simple. This is the way the world record was caught. This is the way the biggest fish in the world. This is the way Kenny held on to it. Yep. This is the exact knot he used to attach the hook to the main line. People don't think this shit is important. If you people catch fish, and then there's people that catch the fish. To catch the fish, you gotta you gotta rig properly. So simple. One, three knots, three little loops. One, two, three. Pinch them all. And be understand that this loop left on the bottom is gonna end up being your sinker loop. Okay. So that amount of loop left, you gotta understand that if you have too much line here, your rig is gonna be too far up the yep, main yep, line. Yep. You understand Makes what I'm sense. Yes, yes, so yes. if I didn't like what I had, I would just let it all go and re-pinch, adjust my pinch point, three pinch and, and three uh and three loops. That's a little too much for what I for the, this length, so I'm gonna bring you down a little bit, get a little bit less. Okay. I like that. Yep. Right over. Pinch it. Pass it through. Pass it through. Make sure this triple overhand comes through. Yeah, right? yeah. Which it did. Right? I like to grab the sinker now at my teeth. I hold that, I got that, and now I just pull everything tight. Right? Awesome. So now watch what happened. It actually slid. It actually slid, right? Which is not the end of the world. I'll tell you why. Every knot, every every one I put in, I put a, I put a check knot, right, in the bottom in the sinker. Right. Now, even if that is to slide, which it did, it'll sit against that check knot. Yep. Now, you saw that. It was no matter what we hook this on, I'm gonna hook it on the rod because I don't want to fuck with Todd Man's boat. You give it a little pull test. Everything I got, it fucking. I'm a grown ass man. 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 I'm a grown I can't break that. Yep. So that's a really good connection. So we'd show it up underneath it. I like to now go over the top of it with a half inch because as that could slide on, on the way down, you could get this stuck and try to be pulling on this and it'll slide up the line too. So to avoid that, just over the top, a little half inch in that direction. Wow. And that just You're thinking of everything. Like you were talking about being prepared. Preparation. Now, We're ready to go. I really like the way that sits. Yeah? I really like the way that Thank sits. you. Thank you. I really like the way that sits. And the next part of the lesson I got that I don't have on film is the bite, scratch, scratch, pull. You're letting them scratch, scratch, and then they suck it in. And yeah, very different from the jig style fishing where you're waiting for them to pull away from it. And uh, it, sure enough, first drop, it's going to work, but not with a keeper. Mike, I listened. I Scratches, 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 thump. It wasn't a big fish, but I'm just happy I, I understood what you were saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. The 12 is going st almost straight down. Nice fish, James. Oh, quiet assassin. That's good, right? James. Tip the boat over now. Four, 
three fat guys and one uh, skinny nice guy. One. Dude, that's a nice fish, man. <laughs> that was the dashboard crap. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. I didn't know. Chef. I got you. I, no, no, you gotta back up. Seven. Nice, Seven. nice fish. Nice fish. It's better than the last one. Yeah, they will. Scratch, scratch. You got a lot of slack in your line right now. I see that. You think you don't, but you do. Well, I see that when I so when that's I. Why when you gotta swipe up, you gotta really tighten up. That's a keeper. Nice job. Who's what? It's another fucking sea bass. That's why we, you, you roll some fish when these conditions happen too, because you don't get the hook in them as good as you do. You're going back, right? Yeah. Building the bite for you guys, the pros, to uh, to catch them. For the fucking yeah, 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 100%. I, I don't know if you hear me editorializing and talking, but I'm like, scratch, 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 and then boom! boom. And I'm it's lifting. Key to it, honestly. And as I'm watching this footage, I, I'm realizing that I do have too much slack in the line. I don't know if you heard Mike telling me that you have a lot of slack in the line. When I'm setting the hook, I wind up reeling three, four, five turns just to get the line tight, even with a high hook setup. And that goes back to Mike telling me you want a little slack in the line. You don't want him to feel the resistance. But when the current is moving like this, there's an artificial slack in your line just from the current doing it. And yeah, I needed to have adjusted and I didn't. And again, all lessons learned. For future trips. I'm gonna let him eat, let him eat. Oh, I see the slack in the line, I see the vibration. That was perfect, dude. Oh, that's a good fish. Got a good one here. Ooh. Mike, you talk to me if you need a net, buddy. Right at the slack to the turn is when the thing is. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting for it too. Vibration. Yeah, really good fish. You want a net? Nice fish. And I watched that whole thing. I saw your, the slack in your line, the vibrations. See it better than you can feel it. And here's some more sage advice from Mike. Uh, size of the crab you have on, let them eat if you have a big crab, swing faster if you have a small crab, something you know I didn't ever think about, but he's 100% right, and you'll see how it works out for both him and James after we talk about that. But to your point, if you have a smaller bait on, maybe you don't. You have to fish to the proportion of what you have on the hook. Yeah. Right? Big fat crab, I'm gonna really yeah. wait. Yeah, if I make smaller crab, I'm gonna be oh, yeah. sucked in right yeah. I, I, I said too, it felt like the suck. You got a good fish? All right. All right. Nice. Staying up. You got two good ones on. Two pros are both. Like my pants. <laughs> How's yours? Told you they were sucking me up the hook, right? He's got a good one. Oh. Yeah, you did, man. Cold. I'm telling you, seven or better. They eat it differently, cause this guy sucked it right in. Vacuum status. He's got another run in him, you think? 
nice fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. It's a swinger. Yep. Jeez, dude. Nice job. <laughs> nice fucking job, dude. I got a very small piece on, so that's why I didn't wait. And it was half ch Good fish. There you go, Todd. Yeah. Nice, Todd. Waited, I heard you tell me, oh, I got that little, little good touch. Fish, I knew right away that you had a good fish. Right away, just how he described yep. the bite. You yep. see that? I got a good hit, and then the slightest touch. Raise it's your not a big crab either. Raise your awareness. Boom. Do you need a net? Yeah. But that's how big fish bite. That little scratch is big. Little the bite, the Going bigger out. the fish. Big fish bite like little fish and little fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish, man. Little fish bite like big fish. Yeah. That's how it goes. Really? Look at that. That is a nice fish. And the current got too strong after a while. We went in and jigged fish. Not going to show any of that. Caught a bunch of keepers. And yeah, we get back to the deeper water. Uh, first drop. And uh, this is how it was going to play out all day, unfortunately. Uh... Depends on where you're at. Not big structure. Look at that. That did not. Wow. Right away. Big fish. Wow, dude, okay. Right away, he got on a hammer. Wow. Right away, he got on a hammer. Oh. Mike, Mike's on. James is on too. The two idiots that are not on. I just got down. All right. Well. Ooh. Yeah, he's still on. The Tony probably like, what the fuck? These guys just pulled up and three of them hooked up. <laughs> yeah, well, two are hooked up with keepers, and guess who's hooked up with... Whoa, good fish, man! Yeah, nice, fish. nice, nice, nice. How's yours, James? Not that good. Get out of your way. Take long. Yo, I got, got him. Hammer. I got wow. Oh, oh. Nat? Oh shit, dude. It's a double dooter. Nah, it's, it's a good fish though. Got him, dump. No dumping. Oh, dude, this fish is like hard. Do you want a net? No. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mikey. Nice fish, man. Yeah. Put that one in the box. And we're gonna end the video with one last fish caught by Todd, the biggest fish of the trip at eight plus pounds. And again, thank you to these guys, Todd, for a great trip. Mike and James for all the lessons. Again, I'm hoping, even though I had a terrible day doing this. Um, a lot of lessons learned. I mean, a lot of lessons learned, and I'm hoping uh, the payoff will come in future trips. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. Oh, yo. got him? Yeah. Yo, this is real. Oh, dude. Just, just. Here you go, Todd. What's up, buddy? Want a net? I'm up. Should I not drop? Get you the net? Yeah, we might. All right, I'll get the net. Okay, okay. I even know how to use your GoPro. Pretty damn close, that one. Yes, sir. Male. Dinosaur. I want to. I want to take my time with this. That's a heavy fish, dude. I don't know if he's ten, but no, he's nine plus for sure. Yeah. It's a beautiful fish, Todd. Yeah, 
nine plus for sure. Wow. Good job, Todd. 